Hello and welcome to today's video. A quick video about comfort. Comfort for your rear. Because when you're getting into cycling, especially with these narrow seats that come with a lot of these indoor cycling bikes or even outside riding, there's an adjustment period and the comfort isn't always there right away. And I am going to talk about some products that will help you out with that comfort. But before we do that, I want to talk about the keep the money in your pocket option. And that's time. Now, when you first get into this and maybe you put like, say, three days with the rides in and you go to get on, you are extremely sore and you're like, I can't do this. This is not an option. I am, I'm just not built for this. Some is wrong. Well, it's easy to kind of freak out because you do get incredibly sore sometimes. But after a week or two, most people that goes away. And for you, it likely will, too. But I've learned that most people fall into one of three camps when it comes to this. All right, all right, I'll give it some time, but this better work because I am hurting. Okay, it's been two weeks. It's time for some products. Help me out. Thank you so much. I appreciate the advice. I don't care. Tell me what products to buy. So while I recommend giving it some time to try to keep money in your pocket, we will talk products. But first, a couple other tips you can try. Make sure your seat is positioned well and level. When you sit on your seat, make sure you're far enough back to have the wide part support you and not too far forward. And when you're first getting started and getting acclimated to the bike, do rides that are a mixture of standing and sitting. That way you kind of are taking breaks in between and not just sitting the whole time. So it kind of eases you in. So our first product is padded cycling shorts pretty much what they sound like the material is cycling short material so it's spandex and polyester so it's comfortable it's going to do the whole cooling and moisture wicking things that's supposed to do but it has the built-in padding so while outside of feeling a little weird at first it does the job that you want it to do it puts a little bit of padding between you and that hard seat so that way it's just eases that transition in if you're just getting used to it or if it's just something you can't get comfortable with you always have that padding there to help you just feel a little bit more comfortable and have a little bit more cushion on your bum when you're trying to ride and I found that while I can't cycle right now because I have a broke foot I can still sit on a seat and it does add some cushion and I can see where it would be beneficial so this is an option if you want to try it pretty inexpensive option too I'll link everything I talk about in the description down below if you want to check it out but cycling shorts it's our first option and don't worry, there'll be no footage of me modeling these things. You're welcome. And the other option is a seat cover. And this one's by Comfy, so comfy. I'll get it right in the description. But basically it's made for these narrow seats. Just goes over, cinches down, and there you go. It's permanently on your bike. Uh, it, it acts just like the padded shorts and the amount of cushion it has. It's just that it's built into your seat. I thought it was comfortable. I thought it did a good job adding just enough padding just like the shorts. So really, I think the decision is if you want to go on these products, figure out which one's going to work for you, or if you just want to be extra cushy, you could theoretically use both. If you're going to pick one or the other, I would probably start with this myself. Just for me, because it's on the bike, I don't have to go worry about getting special underwear every time I want to ride. And I know it's always just going to be on that seat ready for me, so that's why I'd pick this option. But really, both do the job, so it's just a, whatever works best for you. Oh, and in case you're wondering, it fits the Echelon Peloton. Nordic Track, MYX Fitness, just came in, review coming soon, subscribe so you know when that comes in, and probably all these. So if you're looking for something to give you a little bit more comfort, check this out, try the shorts if you want, I think they'll help you out, otherwise ride through it and see if it goes away. And side note before we wrap this up, if you've been following it long and know that I broke my foot and I ordered a bunch of bikes and haven't been able to review them because of the broke foot, well, doctor says I can get out of the boot in less than a week, which means I can at that point start testing. I won't be riding extremely hard, but enough to test these and be able to give you good feedback. So four bikes here, MYX Fitness is in, Peloton Plus is on the way, Stride Bike is on the way, lots of material coming up. I believe the parts for the Nordatrack have been shipped and I get to replace those and see if that fixed it. So an update video on the S22i status, so much to come. Hit that subscribe button so you know when it all comes out. But if you don't mind, toss the video a like and until next time, here's to a healthier you and have a good one.